Creativity Unleashed. This is part one of building a CNC plasma table. This is a five by 10 table. And in this video, we're gonna get it up to the point where you see it right now. The metal framework done for all the linear rails and everything to go on it, as well as the legs and bottom up levelers. So I hope you guys find this video helpful. So right here is the start of my CNC machine. This is a piece of six inch um, channel. It's quite big, as you can tell. And here's the basic drawings I've done of what I'm kind of planning to do. So this is what's going to be made out of the channel. I might add some more ribs, kind of like in here, um, out of um, thinner tubing. Um, but this will be the main structure that will provide the rigidity and strength necessary to keep all the, um, the rails and tracks and everything from having like any flex and just keeping everything super solid. And then I plan to do most everything else a lot lighter, but I just really wanted the main frame to be incredibly solid, incredibly rigid, and not to move at all. So right here, I marked where the notches go, and I'm using soapstone to fill in where I used a um, center punch. So then you can just wipe off whatever excess is there and it'll leave it highlighted with little bumps that um, don't really burn off and are very accurate to where you want them. And it's easy to follow as an oxyacetylene or a plasma torch. So these would be the, the two parts right here and here. And since we're using channel, you want it to fit in and kind of almost fit like a Lego would. You can get um, welds, fill it welds both sides. So I got the frame all clamped up and squared and leveled and all of that good stuff and made sure that everything is parallel to each other, which is going to be incredibly important so that it all runs right in the linear rails and the track and all of that. Um, I'm planning that if this does get off by any amount that I can um, shim um, the linear rails and stuff with, you know, like paper thin stuff so that I can get rid of any imperfections in the steel. But the main idea for this being this nice big heavy six inch channel is so that there's no, um, no movement in the metal once it's in welded together. Um, so right now I have, um, this frame is what I'm doing here. I'm planning to add more pieces across, but they can be out of like inch and a half by three. I have um, knocked out all of these with the um, plasma cutter, which I was talking about earlier. And um, over here, they're just mitered at 45 degree angles. Got a little magnet switch in there just helping hang on to it. As you can see, the Alice bandsaw does brilliantly on making the miter cuts. Um, so it makes for much easier layout and work. Um, obviously it is my first CNC machine, so we'll see how it comes out. It's a lot to learn, but maybe you can learn from if I make some mistakes, which I'm a blonde, so it's very likely that that could happen. You can maybe not make the same ones.
this is kind of what I'm thinking for legs. Um, as of now, just a bit of an angle in, maybe a 15 degree angle or so in, um, which will keep your feet from running to as easy if you are up against the table and should just give it a nice look to it. six legs. I used a hole saw, drilled the hole that the bolt would fit through, um, and then this nut is going to be put underneath and welded in place. But to make sure it's held there really well, I'll just thread the bolt in um, on top, and then I can weld it from underneath, and then the nut will be locked in place. When I take this out, I can use it to raise and lower the table legs to level it, especially since it's a water table. Mm -hmm. 